the terpene that smells like hops. <laughs> Welcome to, Welcome to Tur, Tur, Tur Talk, Talk Thursdays. Thursdays. I am your host, Adiljan Dabber. I am a cannabis enthusiast, patient, and product reviewer, and this is the weekly show where I break down terpenes in an easily digestible way and I explain what they do. When I first learned about terpenes, I didn't think it was anything that could actually change my smoking experience, so I didn't really give them any credit until I started noticing the differences between certain profiles and different strains, and then I saw what they could really do. If you would like to see a particular terpene covered in a future video, leave it down in the comments or check out this playlist right here because I might have already covered it in a previous Terp Talk Thursday. So let me tell you a little bit about terpenes. Terpenes are responsible for making your cannabis smell like a skunk covered in rubber cement or like a musky basement full of oranges. Terpenes are chemicals that give almost everything that we eat and drink their particular smell and taste, and they're also the things that give every single strain of cannabis its own particular smell and taste. Since our sense of smell is connected to our brain's memory and emotion centers, terpenes are actually much more important in your daily life than you might think. A lot of terpenes are actually used in aromatherapy as essential oils because of the benefits and effects that they give to the human body. Some are familiar and easy to imagine, like humulene, the terpene that smells like hops. It's named after Humulus lupulus, aka the hops plant. Humulene is actually a cannabinoid itself because it causes physiological and psychological effects, and it's also a sesquiterpene. Valencine from last week was also a sesquiterpene. These kinds of terpenes are often utilized for their strong flavors and smells. Humulene is a huge part of what gives beer, and particularly IPAs, their characteristic aromas and flavors. Chemically speaking, humulene is just the alpha form of karyophyllene, but different enough to be given its own unique distinction. Some of the places that humulene is found are in sage, ginseng, ginger, and cloves. The characteristic aromas and flavors of humulene are said to be earthy and woody, kind of like a nice smoked piece of meat with spice notes all intermingling with floral notes to create a whole new unique experience. Humulene isn't often found in high concentrations in cannabis, but it's super important and significant when you realize the effect it has on all the popular strains that do have it in high concentrations. The therapeutic effects of humulene are extremely surprising, so let's check them out. Two studies, one done in 2003 and one done in 2016, actually both showed that humulene stopped the growth of cancer cells. Humulene has actually been shown to stop cancer cells by literally suffocating them and not allowing them to grow any stronger or keep spreading. This terpene appears to suppress activity in a certain pathway in your brain so that there's less desire to eat. For this reason, some researchers suggest that humulene could actually be used as a weight loss treatment in the future. Humulene is antibacterial and antifungal, and this makes it extremely useful in treating certain bacterial and fungal infections, specifically certain strains of Staphylococcus, a bacteria that's known for causing lots of different kinds of infections. You can also use humulene on your skin topically to help with certain skin infections. It's anti-inflammatory and can actually help your immune system and your body by helping you fight allergies. It helps reduce airway inflammation so you can actually breathe again. Anti-inflammatory medicines can also help reduce the effects of arthritis. It has been used as an insecticide for mosquitoes and other flying insects. It's actually toxic to the larvae of certain mosquitoes known to carry West Nile virus and other very infectious diseases. Humulene has also been shown in tests to be an incredible pain reliever. Here are some well-known strains to look out for that have lots of humulene. Boba Kush, Super Lemon Haze, Girl Scout Cookies, Headband, and Death Star. There's no doubt that humulene offers a long list of benefits. It has anti-inflammatory properties, it can help boost your immune system, it's a natural insect repellent, it has anti-allergy properties, it can help stop cancer cells from growing and spreading, and finally, humulene is antibacterial and antifungal. Try to find a strain high in humulene if you feel like you could benefit from any of these effects. Humulene seems to show up most often in strains that will leave you feeling happy, motivated, with an overall sense of relief and well-being. This isn't officially medical advice or anything, this is just my personal experience and what I've learned from working in the industry and being a patient myself. Thank you for joining me for another Terp Talk Thursday, everybody. If you have a particular terpene you would like me to cover, leave it down in the comments or check out this playlist right here because I might have already covered it in a previous Terp Talk Thursday. If you learned something in this video, please share it with a friend. I would really, really appreciate it. Before you go, please subscribe and make sure you do some of the stuff on the screen right now because all this stuff makes YouTube's algorithm happy and it shows them that other people might want to watch this video too and might find it useful. Thank you so much. Just remember, before you go, even though today might be hard, tomorrow will be worth it. So take care of yourself. Thanks for watching, everybody, and take it easy.